Adam Conley Four Cougar baseball players and two signees in the 2018 recruiting class were selected Wednesday in the Major League Baseball draft on Day 3, rounds 11-40. RHP Parker McFadden, a junior, was taken in the 16th round by Baltimore with the 475th pick. Senior LHP Scotty Sunich was selected by Milwaukee in the 18th round with the 545th pick. Ryan Walker, a senior RHP, was picked by San Francisco in the 31st round with the 916th selection and junior shortstop Justin Harrer was drafted by Pittsburgh in the 35th round with the 1044th pick. Also drafted Wednesday were a pair of WSU 2018 class signees, RHP Brandon White, 6-8-190, out of West High and Chehalis was picked by the Dodgers in the 14th round with the 434th pick. LHP Kyler Bush out of West Haven, Utah, was picked in the 40th and final round by Kansas City with the 1,202 pick. The deadline to sign or choose to attend college is July 6. SUNITSCH told CFC it was both surreal and a big relief to have been drafted where he was selected. He estimated had he come out early last year, he would have been picked somewhere in rounds 20 to 30. That was one of the best parts, that was one of the highlights. I had some opportunities last year in the draft where if I would have accepted them they would have drafted me. I said no because I wanted to finish out my four years, I would do it again every single time. It paid off, I started. It was a lot and I learned things about myself that I didn't know. I became a better pitcher and a better leader for my team, said Sunich. Underclassmen draftees like McFadden and Harrer also have until July 6 to make the decision on whether to go pro or return to school. How much of a signing bonus draftees can get depends on the team's assigned pool but for reference, last year a pair of position players, SS Alan Trejo and C. Chris Hudgens, signed for $100,000 and $125,000 bonuses, respectively, after being drafted in round 16. Former Washington State pitcher Adam Conley is back in the big leagues after spending the first two months of the season working on a new arm slot with the AAA New Orleans Baby Cakes. This time around, Conley has found a new role for the Marlins, a lefty specialist out of the bullpen equipped with a new slot and a higher ticking fastball. Since getting called up by the Miami Marlins, Conley has looked every bit the lefty bullpen specialist that MLB teams covet. Conley has struck out eight of the 24 batters he's faced over six and two-thirds innings and his era is 1.42. You see Andrew Miller, guys like that, in Cleveland, with that angle, Marlins manager Don Mattingly recently told reporters. He, Conley, had trouble starting, but when you put him out in the pen, he became dominant. After starting 36 games for the Marlins from 2015 to 2016 and posting a 12-7 record with a 3.82 era, Conley had trouble finding his footing in the Marlins rotation in 2017, going 8-8 with a 6.14 era. Finding a new arm slot has given the lefty consistent velocity on his fastball which has averaged around 94 to 95 miles per hour this season according to MLB StatCast. In 2017 Conley's fastball averaged 89.7 miles per hour and in 2016 it sat at 91.7 miles per hour. I'm keeping a very close eye on Adam Conley, who's now transitioned to the Marlins pen, and might be the next Roto Gold. Fastball up to 95 miles per hour, 89 as a starter, slider just below 90 miles per hour. Only 16 batters faced thus far, but 6 strikeouts, 3 hits and 1 walk. Eddie Almaguer, at Eddie Almaguer, June 3, 2018 Granted, when a starter moves to the bullpen velocity is sure to spike because they don't have to pace themselves but Conley has finally found consistency in his velo, which has the Marlins optimistic about his future with the club. Mechanically, he figured things out to throw harder, Matt Angley said. I still think the slider can get better, but obviously, the velocity tick is good for us, and good for him. If he can handle that role in the bullpen, maybe he stays? 
I can't sit here and make those decisions because maybe somebody goes down in the rotation tomorrow, and we say, hey, Adam is starting, you can read more on Conley here, here's what three other Cougars are doing in pro baseball. Ian Hamilton, AA Birmingham Barons, Chicago White Sox, the all-time saves leader at WSU is mowing hitters down and on track for a big league call-up when rosters expand in September. So far in 2018 Hamilton owns a 1.77 era, striking out 29 batters in 20 and a third innings. Moreover, the batted balls he is giving up are far from being hit hard, 13.6% are line drives, which is a minuscule percentage, writes SouthsideSox.com, on top of that, one quarter of his fly balls are infield flies. Hamilton, in his second pro season, is 9 for 9 in save chances. Damon Jones, single A Lakewood Blue Claws, Philadelphia Phillies, the lefty from Twin Falls has looked like a middle round steal for the Phillies. After striking out 38 batters in 26 innings of work during his first taste of pro ball in the low-A New York Penn League, Jones has dominated his first season of single A. He's 4-2 with a 1.88 era in 9 starts. Opposing hitters are hitting .207 and Jones is averaging just north of a strikeout per inning with 49 batters punched out in 48 innings. In his last start June 2nd, Jones went seven innings for the first time all season, sitting down eight, walking three while giving up only three hits on zero runs. Shane Matheny, single-A Augusta Green Jackets, San Francisco Giants, in his second season of pro ball, Matheny is hitting .252 but showing solid plate discipline with 19.30 seconds walk to strike out ration and a .373 on base percentage. Matheny had a minor trip to disabled list in late April but is back to playing full-time. Last season in low-A ball he hit .284. In addition, old Coug Nick Tanilu has been promoted to AAA Fresno with the Houston Astros, and Ian Sagdal is off to a solid start this season with the Washington Nationals single-A advance team in Potomac, Maryland. Two former Cougars WHO were cut by coach Marty Lees after his first season at the helm are capping spectacular individual seasons with outstanding team success. Mason Serio and Brennan Kalawahia are both playing in the Super Regionals Sweet 16 for the NCAA College World Series. Serio and his Washington Huskies face Cal State Fullerton on Saturday while Kalawahia and Tennessee Tech take on Texas. Serio, who has made 50 starts between outfield and first base, is the Huskies' leading hitter at .342 and paces the club in multi-hit games. Kalawahia, a catcher, has started all 61 games for Tech, and is hitting .376 with 8 homers, 53 RBI and a .558 slugging percentage. Serio and Kalawahia are but two Cougars that Lee's swept out of the program in a massive house cleaning in 2016. As CFC pointed out in this recent story, the move backfired badly. Notable, two current Cougars, D.H. Blake Clanton and Sun Edge, earned all Pac-12 honorable mention honors as voted on by the league's coach, the conference office announced. Clanton, a senior from Clinton, Okla, led the Cougs in hits 56, RBI 35, on base percentage, .430, and was ninth in the Pac-12 in batting average, .350, and fourth in slugging, .644. Clanton was second on the team in doubles, 13, and home runs, 10. Dunwich, a senior lefty from Federal Way, led the Cougars in wins, 6, strikeouts, 74, innings, 84.1, and produced the second lowest era, 3.74. Sunich was named National Pitcher of the Week and Pac-12 Pitcher of the Week in early April after throwing a no-hitter at Oregon. Adam Conley last night with runners on first and second. No problem. His changeup looks significantly better, gets Harrison Batter and Matt Carpenter to whiff on it plus a great three-pitch sequence to Carpenter for the strikeout. Expect Conley to receive higher leverage innings soon. Twitter.com slash 89v4i25co6, Dylan Ha, at Dylan Howe, June 6, 2018.